So when I found these guys about two weeks ago, I was just blown away at how many things I can do with this thing and how flexible it is and how I can literally 3D model my mockups and render it out all on a web-based platform. So today we're gonna update one of the product mockups on my website and I'm gonna take you guys through the whole journey just to showcase all of the features. Okay, so we are on our website, lhstudio.com, and I'm just gonna navigate to shop. Uh, we, we do only have two products right now, we're working on it, so if you guys want something and you wanna see that in our shop, let us know, we'll make it, and make sure to deliver you guys a great product. So, here you can see that for Omni, we got a pretty cool mock-up going on. We do need a bit of a refresh on our portfolio, which is uh, our first product, and we're gonna do that with the help of today's editor. So we're going to navigate to packdora.com and full disclosure, we were able to actually secure a partnership with these guys. And for you guys, we fought hard to secure a 20% off a uh, subscription with the code LYH20. So make sure you use that. Their product just worth every single penny in my opinion. Okay, so on packdora.com, you guys can see that there are about 5,000 different mockups. Everything from boxes, bottles, food, pouches, jars, tubes, cups, paper, oh, man, anything you want, these guys have got it. And these are super high quality as well. But what we're here for is magazines. So we got to focus here. So I'm going into uh, mockups on the top here, and I'm actually going to go into other. So the first one that you guys can see in other is going to be uh, our magazine, which is exactly what we want. Uh, and since our portfolio is in a landscape format, we're gonna choose something in the landscape format. So just scrolling through all of the different ones that they have, uh, we can see that there is a landscape magazine format here and another one over here. So let's go ahead and just use this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Okay, so it's gonna bring up something like this and all you really have to do is upload your image. It's gonna tell you how many pixels it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here, upload my image. And since I am a prepared YouTuber, I have already had this in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that onto the box. Now, you can see that this is not really where we want it. There's a little preview on the top here. I actually put it on the back cover. Oops. So we're gonna move it over to the right here. And there you go, you can see it's on the front cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save that. And there we go. If that's all you really needed, you're basically done. We can add things like a background to it. So if I wanted to add a gradient to it, I can do that. If I just wanted to add a simple solid color, I can do that as well. And man, this UI just makes it so easy. Okay, if you're happy with what you have right here, just go ahead and click Super Export. You'll be able to preview everything here. Also select the different ratios. So here, maybe I'm going with a 16 by nine zooming in with my mouse a little bit and just moving this guy around so that it's in the middle and getting an angle that I like. Bam, click 4K, export now, and there it is on the screen for you right there. Now, Sam, that's cool, but it's not, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's still just a mock-up. Don't worry, I saved the best for last. So, get this, guys. We can put scenes and multiple different things in here at the same time. Let me show you guys what I mean. So. Right now, my mock-up is just a closed book, which, you know, it's cool and all, but I wanna see the inside as well. So I'm actually gonna go and click this 3D design. And what this is gonna do is bring my product into a online 3D editor. Now, you can rotate your online 3D editor just by dragging your mouse out like this. And you can pan by holding shift and dragging your left mouse like this. Alternatively, you can go down here and just use the tools. You can see that when I hover over this, it'll also tell you the little preset, which is H. Okay, so we have one guy in here, which is our front cover, but we want more. We want more things in here. So you can see that on the left, I can actually bring up things like scenes. And if I click, say a scene that I want is something like this, I can simply click on it, it'll bring up my scene, and it'll have my objects in here. And if I just go ahead and render this, you guys can see what that looks like right here. So I'm not a huge fan of how this guy looks. I mean, it's, it looks great, but um, just scrolling through all these different scenes, I think we're gonna try out this leaf one. So 
This one I'm a big fan of right here. And we're gonna just load this guy up. So you can see that it's got some leaves, it's got some nice display shelves. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add another model here. So if I go into library, just gonna search magazine right here. So magazine, enter. And then I'm gonna scroll down to our open book. So go ahead and click add to where the open book is. And you can see it's kind of in the ground, but I'm gonna move it all the way up and move it on top of the table here. So when it's hitting the table, you can see that blue box pop up. And I'm just gonna rotate this guy a little bit um, and just move it so that it's not conflicting with anything else. Now it might be a little bit big, so I'm just gonna scale it. And we're gonna move the sphere over to the left there. So. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna leave that one there and obviously we're going to upload our images or just put in the images that we want. Okay, so both of these guys are not, uh, you know, showing up super well, especially this on the bottom. Uh, we can try changing the color. So for example, if I go and click into one of these elements and it just change the color of it, uh, we can try to get something, but I think there is a better and more creative solution to this. So. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. So instead of having this guy lay flat on the platform, I think it'll be very innovative and very cool if we tilt it and just have it leaning on the other box. So let's try to see if that works. Okay, and guys, if we want any sort of a background gradient, we can do it. that. It's the same kind of deal as before, right? We can just change it up. Uh, I might just keep it nice and clean on, uh, on a nice white, dark, and gray theme. And once you guys are happy with the angle that you have, go up to the right, hit Super Render. You can also preview this in the Super Render, um, and you can also move it around just like how you could in the editor. I want to probably show a little bit more of the inside of the magazine or the portfolio. And yeah, so here I have it on 4x3. Maybe I want to change it to 16x9 just to show a little bit more on what's going on on the side. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to select JPEG and 4K and I'm going to go ahead and export. I want to show you guys that if you want to add more things like these leaves into the scene, it's in this asset tab. And it's really cool because you can add things like flowers, you can add things like potted plants, you can add things like fruits if you want, other things like rocks, wooden planks, pots, little balloons. As you guys can see, there's just a ton of stuff in here that you guys can add into your model to place your perfect scene. Okay, and the last step is just to put it on our website. So, there it is. What do you guys think? Did it make it better of a product page? Did it make it less good of a product page? Leave your thoughts in the comment below. And I also wanted to show you guys some of the other options that I tried and played around with. So here's a little slideshow of it. And yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys today. And thank you Pactora for sponsoring this video. If you guys have learned anything new, please don't hesitate to leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.